head, shoulders, knees, and fins. Knees and fins? Have I been singing this wrong since kindergarten? I thought it was knees and toes, but scientists have made a recent discovery that makes me question my kindergarten teachings. There's something fishy going on around here. In 2006, Neil Shubin, Edward Deichler, and Ferris Jenkins Jr. made some novel discoveries regarding the transition from aquatic dwelling vertebrates to terrestrial vertebrates, suggesting the fish were ultimately our ancestors. Brings a whole new meaning to the famous statement of one of William Faulkner's characters, my mother is a fish. Okay, maybe not my mother, but maybe my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother? This idea that we're descended from fish is supported by evidence found in skeletal similarities of a sister group of tetrapods known as tectalic rosei and the tetrapods themselves. These scientists determined that unlike other tetrapodomorphs, tectalic possesses an expanded endoskeleton and a reduced dermal exoskeleton. For those of us who are not expert biologists, this basically means that they have more bones inside their body to support their weight than bones outside their body. These scientists also found that the joints that formed inside Tiktaalik's fin allowed them to flex and extend their fin, rotate, protract, and retract. Very similar to us tetrapods, minus the opposable thumbs. Those come later. The internal joint anatomy of Tiktaalik, it also provides evidence of movements possible at the elbow, suggesting that Tiktaalik was able to utilize its fin to support an upright stance, and they have wrists and digits, much like fingers, similar to those of limb terrestrial vertebrates. This internal anatomy suggests that Tiktaalik was the likely intermediate animal between fish and tetrapods, a literal fish out of water. Tiktaalik's internal anatomy allowed it to walk on land. Evidence of supporting structures in the internal skeleton of Tiktaalik indicates their ability to support their weight without the buoyant support of water. This means they could swim in water and walk on land. They just couldn't walk on water. So Tiktaalik couldn't defy the laws of physics, but it did defy doubts about the link between fish and tetrapods. Shubin, Deichler, and Jenkins thus provided novel evidence for the evolution of terrestrial tetrapods and illustrated the first steps in transition from fins to toes. Now there's something I didn't learn in kindergarten.